we are going to see about the juxta glomerular apparatus so first let's get oriented with this diagram this is a section of the renal corpuscle and at the vascular pole this is the vascular pole of the renal corpuscle we can see certain differentiated structures these are the this is the afferent arteriole this is the efferent arteriole this is the part of the distal convoluted tubule specifically the part between the straight part and convoluted part of the dct lying adjacent to the afferent arteriole and efferent arteriole uh, then this part is the continuation of the mesangial cells of the renal corpuscle so this part is known as extra glomerular mesangial cells or lasis cells let's deal one by one the first one is the uh, what forms the juxta glomerular apparatus so juxta glomerular apparatus is a specialized organ situated near the glomerulus of each nephron it comprises of mainly three types of structures the juxta glomerular cells macula densa and the lasis cells so, will be one by one the first one that is the juxta glomerular cells these are the specially differentiated cells in the smooth muscle of the afferent arteriole close to the glomerulus it is not the endothelium it is the smooth muscle of the afferent arteriole which is adjacent to the glomerulus this region the muscle cells of the wall of the afferent arteriole are modified and they are large rounded or somewhat enlarged enlarged and epithelioid shape and spherical nuclei will be there the cytoplasm of this juxta glomerular cells contain numerous granules which may contain the renin they are seen by the electron microscopy they are innervated by unmyelinated adrenergic nerve fibers some authorities regard the juxta glomerular cells as the modified myoepithelial cells since they contain contractile elements in the cytoplasm the uh, erythropoietin the hormone secreted by the kidney some believe that erythropoietin also secreted by the juxta glomerular cells next component is the macula densa so this is the second part of the juxta glomerular apparatus so macula densa this is the distal convoluted tubule distal convoluted tubule uh, in the distal convoluted tubule at the site of contact with the afferent and efferent arteriole the cells lining epithelium are little bit modified they are densely packed together and they are somewhat columnar uh, we know the rest of the epithelium of the distal convoluted tubule will be somewhat cuboidal but here the cells are columnar and densely packed together they form the macula densa they lie in close contact with the juxta glomerular cells and extra glomerular mesangial cells the third component is the third part that is the lasis cells or the extra glomerular mesangial cells their function is unknown but since they form a lace like network they are known as lasis cells they are located in the interval between the macula densa and the afferent and efferent arteriole